What is going on guys? You're watching Jay's Two Cents and a lot of people ask me all the time about easy ways to manage their files and keep track of their disk space on their computers. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about on today's Little Bite of Tech. Now before we get started, if you're new to my channel or you stumbled across this video somewhere out there on the interwebs, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, show some support for Jay's Two Cents, bringing you videos that empower you on becoming more educated and more confident in doing things with your computer. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I hope to see you guys stick around for more Jay's Two Cents. But let's go ahead and get this thing started. I'd like to use a program here called Tree Size. You can see it right here, it's absolutely free, and it's a very simple program that basically just queries your hard drive and shows you where everything's at, how big it is, and, uh, you know, well, if you, if you need a program to tell you how big it is, you've got bigger problems. But anyways, uh, if you click the scan button here and look at the local disk, if you look over here in my computer, you can see I've only got 19.3 gigs free right now on that drive. So it's kind of important to see what's going on and where all of that information and all of that data storage is going because you don't want to run out of disk space, especially if you have a small SSD like I do. But you can see right here, the moment we scan the C drive, I've got 41 gigabytes that are being used up in program files. Program files is the biggest file folder in my C drive. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And you can see right here, it's nearly double the size of Windows. So if I double click on that, it expands it. Oh, look at that. Origin games. 35 gigs being used up on Origin, or we can look at the percentage and see that Program Files is using up 38.7% of my drive, and 85% of that 38% is being taken up by Origin games. And what game is that? Battlefield 3, as you can imagine. Battlefield 3, I don't like long load times, so I stuck that on the SSD. But if I was to really get tight for space, I would probably want to move that program over to another drive, and I know I could free up 35 gigs right then and there. But we've got other things going on in here as well. Whoops, if you take a look at the program files, you can see we've got nearly two gigs being used up in common files and one gig of that, that is being used up right here by Adobe. Now the cool thing too is you don't have to expand it. If you just put your mouse over it, you get some information right here. You can see that the, the folder here is using 35 gigabytes. Uh, you can see who's got permissions to make changes to it. You can see the last date that it was changed, how much you know, space is allocated to it, how many files, the locations, the full path, all of that information is there. So all you gotta do is hover over it and you can see all of that. But if we take a look here at users, you can see I've got 17.2 gigs being used up in the users folder. And if I take a look at that, there's my name. And you can see that we've got a lot of app data being used up. We've got 1.3 gigs alone in the documents folder. And that's because uh, Adobe Captivate cached projects, that's what I'm doing right now. So if I take a look at my hard drive, you'll see it's probably smaller than before. Nope, still at 19.3. But anyway, so if you want, if you see a file that you know is junk and you want to get rid of it, let's go ahead and say, uh, I want to take a look at my public. I've got four gigs worth of games there. I've got 4.7 gigs being used in Cryptic Studios, which is never winter. And I know I don't want to play that game anymore. So I can go ahead and just uh, right click on Cryptic Studios, delete, delete the folder, go to the recycling bin, delete it, and look at that. Now we've got 24 gigs showing right here on my SSD. So tree size is a very good program to use if you want to identify where you're using up all of your space. Now I want to just kind of point out how fast this drive scanned as you guys saw. If you go over here to scan say my one terabyte drive, it's gonna take, uh, well actually it's already cached, I take that back. But anyways, we've got 239 uh, gigabytes being that's for, uh, being used right here on the drive. And 100 gigs of that alone is my Steam library, and then 54 gigs of that is my YouTube library. And then we've got World of Warcraft on here. I don't even know why. I don't even play the game anymore. But you can see it makes things a whole lot easier when it comes to identifying stuff. So we've got you know 14 gigs worth of movies and effects. We've got 11 gigs in Adobe. So it's very simple to identify. And uh, if you guys need to know where some of this information is and where you're using up all your folder files, it I found that my SSD a couple weeks back was just slowly filling up and I logged in one day and I got the low storage warning and I was like, what the heck? What was using up all the space? So I was able to bring up tree size and right off the bat I was able to see that my uh, iTunes 
under users. Where is it? Maybe it was under users. I don't remember where it's at. Program files. Ah, whatever. Anyway, the iTunes folder uh, program files. Here we go. iTunes was way up here on the top, and it was bigger than Origin. And what was happening was every time I was plugging my iPhone into my computer to charge, it was doing an automatic backup. And what it was doing is it was saving each and every backup. It wasn't overriding a previous backup. So I was getting about 7 gigs worth of backup every time I plugged in the phone and it was just adding up and adding up. So I just came to the YouTube fo uh, files here. I opened it up and it said backups and I deleted it and got all that space back. So there you go guys. Tree size. It's right here. Absolutely free. Download it. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. Check it out. And as always, this big awesome logo. This is for you guys because you guys are really awesome for uh, all the support that you guys give as well as all the people who have been uh, contributing to the fundraiser that I'm currently doing right now for CES in January. If you guys aren't aware, uh, Jay's Two Cents could certainly use all the help that he can get. He does not make nearly enough money on YouTube to cover the cost of CES that I'm attending in January. A lot of you guys have definitely shown the support, and I love it. I'm going to put the link to the video down in the description. It's also up and playing right now, so you can click on that if you want to know why Jay's Two Cents is doing a fundraiser. Love it or hate it, either way, you guys are going to get awesome content come January for CES. And I've got some really big news coming up on Jay's Two Cents for... My one-year giveaway coming up on August 26th. We've got some awesome prizes that have been donated. We've got a little bit of something for everybody. And I'm going to be doing a promo video on that very soon and telling you guys how to enter and how to win these amazing prizes being donated by several different companies. As always, guys, hit the like button. It really helps. Subscribe if you stumble along. Go and check out the uh, Twitter page and the Facebook page. All those links are down in the description. They're very easy to go and check out. And uh, I'm always doing something stupid up there and embarrassing myself. So at the very least, you guys are going to laugh. So I'm going to get on out of here. I'm going to play some Battlefield 3. I'm going to do some live streaming over on the Twitch channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully... Unless you hated this and you hit the subscribe button, the unsubscribe button, in which case I'm going to go and I'm going to cry myself to sleep in a puddle of salty tears in my pillow. All right, guys, I'm going to go now. Bye.